Krishna Dear Souls, welcome back for another session of Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, Music Meditation. And don't worry, this is just a little scar, but that is the nature of this material body and this material world. But in particular, the material body, you know, it's prone to disease, you know, it's prone to other kinds of sickness, which are probably diseases. I apologize if I'm not so <laughs> good with health stuff, um, or knowing about it anyway, but, um, I apologize, dear souls out there in the world, for that. Please forgive me, dear souls out there in the world. If you can, dear souls out there in the world, I'll forgive you, dear souls out there in the world, for anything. Hopefully, dear souls out there in the world. So, um, this meditation, it's called the Hare Krishna Mahamantra Meditation, and this meditation is comprised of three names, Hare Krishna and Rama. And then those three names are comprised and constructed into a 16-name sentence, which just goes... Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And I'll say it one more time. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Maybe one more time. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And maybe one more time. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And what matters the most with these kinds of meditations is the love that we give at the heart. In other words, dear souls within the world, because everything else is going to come and go. You know, um, for example, the accommodation that I have now, it's actually, as far as I'm aware and as far as I understand from the ancient yoga meditation wisdom, these ancient yoga meditation texts from ancient India, in other words, dear souls within the world, is it's um, simply... A mental concoction to think that what I have now materially it's always going to be there you know it's like imaginary almost and it can be easy to get lulled so to speak into that sense of nothing's going to change you know the person who I'm married to will always be married to them or the children that I have will always be in my life not necessarily people die all the time you know um, I could die the next moment or the next day, if that makes sense to ourselves up in the world. So this is about really getting in touch with our real self before that happens, you know, because the alternative is to get in touch with the shell, so to speak, of ourselves, which is the body and the mind, you know, which in my personal experience provides um, simply headaches whenever we try and take shelter of these two things. Um, that according to the ancient yoga meditation wisdom from ancient India, these ancient yoga meditation texts, in other words, dear souls up in the world, from ancient India, if that makes sense, dear souls up in the world, is, um, you know, when we try and take shelter of these two things in particular, the body and the mind, which are like suits, basically, the mind is like a subtle suit, but um, suits nevertheless, you know, it's like trying to find happiness in a block of rubber. There really is no difference according to this ancient yoga meditation wisdom. Um, you find that after a while, the rubber gets a little bit boring and a little bit dry. And maybe you've tried to find enjoyment from the rubber in every which way. You know, maybe by putting it on your head or, you know, eating it or... I don't know, um, kicking it around with your foot. And then after a while, it's like, is there anything else, you know, aside from playing with this rubber, you know? That really is our body and our mind, which is like a subtle body. <coughs> Excuse, Hare Krishna, I should say, to ourselves that in the world. Um, it's uh, a uh, suit that you can't see, but you can feel. So it's matter. In other words, dear souls up in the world that you can't see, but you can feel, just like the wind, as far as I'm aware, and also in my personal experience. The wind is something that you can't see with your eyes directly, but you can feel the wind, so you know it's there. Um, so this kind of science that goes uh, deeper into um, truth in a way that, you know, the Western uh, modern material scientists, so to speak, you know, they're doing a pretty good job, they've learnt a lot, but um, according to this ancient wisdom from ancient India, apparently there's a lot more to 
see and to realize beyond material arrangements, basically. And uh, one might say, well, why can't we just be satisfied with matter and material arrangements, so to speak? Um, the fact is, according to this ancient wisdom from ancient India, we can't be satisfied, which is why we end up, or at least in my personal experience, I ended up feeling so frustrated um, and confused as well, because it's a, sorry, I mean to say dear souls, it's in the world, it's like, okay, well, if I'm frustrated, um, and this is all there is, then what's the point? What's the point of me even living, you know? Why would I continue living? Um, and one might say, oh, do it for the children, do it for your job, do it for your very self, for what is yourself, you know? Is it that which always changes? The body's always changing, literally, you know? Health sickness, um, you know, and as time goes on, the body is developing, or at least in my personal experience, it develops, and then it, um, uh, what's the right word, dwindles, I guess, you know, it becomes uh, less and less, there's less energy, there's, um, you know, everything becomes frail, as far as I'm aware, you know, so how can we be... Mm, truly fulfilled and satisfied by um, that which is not going to always be with us. Um, one might say, you know, we'll just go with the flow. That's the point of life, just to go with the flow. Um, the yoga wisdom from ancient India, these yoga and meditation texts from ancient India, they explain that um, simply to drift along here and there by the will of the material energy, you know, uh, there's no real result or any result that comes from that, any lasting and genuine result, because any results you do get, whether it be a certificate in something, or, you know, maybe your health does increase, um, you know, you can't take it with you um, when you leave the body. Um, so that's one point that this ancient yoga meditation wisdom from ancient India explains that, you know, we're even not going to always be here or, you know, within this vehicle that is the body. We can see when the body dies, you know, there's something different about the body uh, than when it was so-called alive. And this ancient wisdom from ancient India explains that, well, that's due to the soul having been soul. Sorry, I meant to say dear souls out there in the world. That's due to the soul having been present within the body and then the soul leaving the body, and the soul is you, um, which illuminates the body, which animates the whole body. That's how I'm able to move right now, from what I understand. And um, I'll just pause for one second, dear souls of the world. There we go. Thank you for your patience, dear souls of the world. Please forgive me, dear souls of the world. If you can, dear souls of the world, go understand, dear souls of the world. Hare Krishna, dear souls of the world. So, um, this Hare Krishna Mahamantra meditation, it's a way to discover who you really are, you know, and I may have said this before, um, does that mean that we all just become the same, you know, don't worry, you won't look like me, you probably won't talk like me or act like me, you know, this is not about just becoming one kind of samey army, you know, in quality, so to speak. We are the same as soul, but um, the differences still remain, except the differences improve, you know, so your character improves, your mental state improves, your, mm, not necessarily a bodily state, because, um, you know, like everything else in the material world, it's dualistic, so we're never guaranteed anything. Um, that stays the same on the bodily or the material level. In other words, if that makes sense to ourselves within the world. So that's why it is best to go deep. And the ancient wisdom from ancient India explains that that's what this life is meant for, for going deep, not simply staying on the shallow realm, so to speak, where we're simply talking about phones and clothes, or we're just talking about our children, or our grandparents, or we're talking about our job, and once that's over, then the alcohol comes out, and, 
you know, then we start talking about other things and maybe we've fallen asleep and then we just wait for the time that we wake up and then the job starts again and, okay, it's time for lunch, okay, am I going to have sushi or, you know, chicken fettuccine, you know, um, the ancient wisdom from ancient India explains that there's so much more to be had in life than all of that, um, and what happens when we start to go deep is our actions change, our behavior changes, the way we're thinking changes, the mind becomes clear, the heart becomes clear, and, you know, if everyone went deep, so to speak, into this kind of meditation, you'd see a whole different culture and civilization as far as I'm aware. Not in like a culty kind of way, but, you know, it'd be one of, as far as I'm aware, it'd be one of peace, it'd be one of clear-mindedness, you know, therefore governments would totally change, as far as I'm aware, um, you know, um, the way we treat ourselves and each other would completely change, as far as I'm aware. But it all starts with one person, and that's how you may be able to get an indication of how, on a larger scale, things would change. Once you start to see the changes within yourself, it's like, oh my God, you know, um, everyone should try this. But at the same time, you know, we should never judge anyone or compare that is simply a waste of time, in my personal opinion. It's better to stay in your own business and just go deep and then see if people see the changes. That, as far as I'm aware, is the best kind of way to share this meditation. Because no one is stupid. People get a sense of, okay, where are you at? Where's your consciousness? So I'm going to say to ourselves, where is your consciousness really at? Where is your mind really at? Where are your emotions really at? People can get a sense for these things. And so if you start going, ah, I know this and I know that, but your actions don't match up with what you say or, yeah, anything like that, then I doubt that many people would buy that. Maybe some would, but I'd say for the most part, you know, and I'm just pe speaking from my personal experience, so I'm in the cells within the world. You know, I'd meet people who were immersed within this meditation, and you can kind of see, like, oh, actually, this person's really sincere, I can see that. And, oh, <laughs> I don't know about that one, and maybe I'll just stay away from this person <laughs> right now, maybe until they get some realization or something like that. So, that was, I think, from memory, my personal experience. So, that's why I like to be as genuine as possible in, you know, what I'm talking about. I could say lofty this and lofty that, but at the end of the day, who's going to buy it? So um, that's why what matters most is the heart. And I say this often because um, that's what I've heard from this great saint of soul, His Holiness, David Rudaswami, who I describe to be like a transcendental... No, I'll change it a little bit. He's like a transcendental Gulab Jamun. Swimming in Gulab Jamun juice, which are these transcendental names. <laughs> um, I hope that's not offensive to His Holiness Stephen Rudaswami, but here's one example of someone who has, as far as I'm aware, really made this meditation as life and soul. Um, you know, put that before anything else, I would say. Um, and then you really start to see the results. But what matters most is the sincerity, you know. Everyone's in a different situation. And, you know, it's still good to do what you need to do on the material level. Whilst, to the best of your ability, going so deep into the meditation that um, you really start to see that this is what's nourishing me. The fridge behind me can't nourish me, you know. Um, this room can't nourish me. Um, outside, on the streets, they ca it can't nourish me. We must nourish ourselves internally through an internal process, which is the expression of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. In my personal experience, anyway, and from what I've heard as well. So, I hope that's not too deep. Um, we'll go into some Hare Krishna Maha Mantra meditational music, if that makes sense to ourselves within the world. And uh, I'm going to use my hands instruments, so feel free to 
lie down with me, sit with me, so to speak, to yourselves within the world, stand with me, walk from here to here, here. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Excuse me for that burp, dear ourselves within the world. Again, dear ourselves within the world. Um, yeah, anything you need. You know, this is about you. You know, no one else is going to step in and live your life for you. Um, that's my personal experience as well. So we must take charge of our life in the best way we know how. But as far as I'm aware and in my personal experience, the best place to start is through this process of Hare Krishna Maha Mantra meditation, then everything comes from that, as far as I'm aware and from what I've heard and from what I've experienced as well, gradually, gradually or quickly, quickly, depending on your level of sincerity, um, the love in which you give this meditation, everything comes from that internally and maybe externally as well, but we can't depend on the external changes that come about from expressing the Sarah Krishna Maha Mantra because they will go eventually, you know. They might be temporarily a source of inspiration. Oh my God, I expressed the Sarah Krishna Maha Mantra and then this changed in my life externally. And I've had that, you know, but um, that's come and gone, you know, many, many times. So you start to realize that the internal, so I meant to say to ourselves in the world, the change that you must be on the lookout for is one of an internal nature. So we'll begin. And I might stand up because A, it's more comfortable in my personal opinion, and also I might dance. Okay. Alrighty. Standing up. Oh, just one second, dear souls within me. Just look at me, dear souls within me. Thank you, dear souls within me. So, we'll begin. No, I think I've said the mantra. But if I haven't already, it just goes Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And I'll say it one more time Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And maybe one more time Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Um, okay, cool. And it's okay if you haven't gotten the hang of it yet. It's just about, you know. Whatever way is most comfortable, shout it with me, scream it with me, think it with me, mouth it with me, sing it with me, anything, hear it with me. You don't even need to verbalize this mantra. Um, just go deep to the best of your ability, if that makes sense. Dear ourselves within the world. Forgive me if it doesn't do ourselves within the world. If you can do ourselves within the world. Okay, Hare Krishna, do ourselves within the world. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, oh, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 
Krishna, Krishna, Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, oh, Rama, Rama, Hare, 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 Krishna, Hare, Krishna, 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 Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, 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 Hare, 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 Krishna, Hare, Krishna, 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 Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, 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 Hare, 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 Krishna, Hare, Krishna, 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 Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, 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 Hare, Hare. Na Hare Krishna, ah, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Oh Rama Rama Hare Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, hey, hey. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, hey. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you, all dear souls, for your bright participation. Um, you know, hearing is participating, mouthing is participating, singing is participating, screaming or shouting, you know, thinking, if I haven't already said that already, dear souls up in the world, please forgive me for all of my mistakes, dear souls up in the world. Um, I began dear souls up in the world, but it's up to you, dear souls up in the world, that's all that matters, dear souls up in the world, it really is. Excuse me, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Uh, dear souls up in the world, this really is down to you, and it's up to you, and it's in your hands, in other words, dear souls up in the world. You know, this is just a way, as far as I'm aware, to brighten your insides and to brighten the outside. You know, um, that's all, as far as I'm aware. You know, so many other things, they produce darkness from what I've experienced um, and kind of like a hollowness hollow, sorry hollow um, in case you guys didn't hear that word uh, dear souls up in the world um, yeah just like this empty feeling and this according to my own personal experience and according to the ancient Yoga meditation wisdom, these ancient yoga meditation texts, in other words, dear souls of the world from ancient India, dear souls of the world. Um, you know, they feed that emptiness until it's full. But it's not just full, it overflows, you know. And um, that's really how it should be. Um, just, you know all of these little sprinkles of what's called bhakti, which my understanding of bhakti means uh, genuine love. That goes beyond any material condition. Um, we may think, oh, yes, love requires material conditions. Of course it does. It requires that my boyfriend or girlfriend um, has lips. Hi. It'd be so tragic if they didn't have lips, you know, or a full head of hair. But, um, or even, you know, between a child and a parent, the child might be thinking, yes, my mother's love for me requires her to uh, 
protect me in all circumstances. But you find that actually a lot of these things, if not all of these things as far as I'm aware, they're not actually within our control. You know, you can't really control any of the conditions, if that makes sense to ourselves living in the world. They're always coming and going, and, uh, you know, um, the things that we think we controlled to get what we wanted. We have to think, you know, was that really down to our own personal effort? Um, or was there something else that was um, uh, governing that arrangement? But that is a deep topic. Um, what matters most is, uh, you know, is, are all of, sorry, I meant to say to ourselves, are all of these out there in the world, sorry, I meant to say to ourselves living in the world, excuse me, to ourselves living in the world, uh, so that if you can't do ourselves living in the world, I'll understand to ourselves living in the world. Uh, you know, we have to consider, are all of these material arrangements really satisfying me in my heart? And that can take some time to come to terms with. I've seen people and I've seen myself, you know, it can take time. Um, for some people it clicks, you know, sooner. But again, comparing is a waste of time because you are you. As far as I'm aware, there's no one else that is you. Uh, you know, so um, you're only going to do what you're going to do at your own pace and in your own way, you know. And that may change over time. You know, and so I've seen people like they might give me a look, and I can maybe read so I meant to say to ourselves, I can maybe read their look, and, and it's maybe like a look of oh, yeah, I've kind of uh, tried some things and they didn't make me happy, <laughs> but they may not say anything, you know, um, and it's like okay, that's where they're at, and that's where I used to be at, and so you just let it be. You know, because we're almost doing like a brain surgery in the heart and in the head, you know. So, uh, you know, if we kind of override their own surgery that they're doing, so to speak, um, you might end up with a bloody mess, you know. Um, and then am I going to take responsibility for the bloody mess that I created whimsically and childishly? In another person's life? Probably not, because I still have to live my own life. So, you know, you just be very gentle. At least that's my approach anyway, in terms of inviting people to maybe consider that there is something else that can satisfy you beyond the body and bodily kind of things. Um, and in regard to ourselves, we're also at a certain level, you know. There are many people who are at a higher level than me, and many people who are at a lower level than me, and, uh, you know, wherever we're at, on the Ferris wheel, so to speak, whatever chair we're sitting on, so I meant to say to ourselves, that we're sitting on, so to speak, whatever chair we're sitting on, so to speak, to ourselves up in the world, um, you know, we simply have to, uh, take care of the chair that we have, and, um, just be mindful about our own journey, what's happening within our journey, and do a lot of reflection and introspection. That's my approach anyway, or at least that's what I try sometimes, hopefully. <laughs> but, um, yeah, focus on your own brain surgery.